Alright, what's up y'all? Moon here bringing to this video, which I just recently played some Dead by Daylight uh, after working today, and we found a Twitch streamer, thankfully he had his name up, named Kraken, and I decided to look him up, and he really was streaming, which is really awesome. Uh, I did go to his channel, comment a little bit, and say like, hey, take it easy on me, so I can't wait to kind of digest this and see what's going on, and I'll uh, give some of my inputs and all that when hunting, I guess, right? Uh, first things things are Ron Fields. I mainly thought, okay, I'm not killing anybody, especially with the clown. This is probably the worst killer. I was debating if I should use clown or legion. In this instance, I used clown. And we did notice that we've seen some uh, marks in the beginning of the game, so I do know that I am on a lead to somebody. So I don't want to end that chase so quickly. And David, as the first thing we see is David. We're gonna chase him. But he will not become our first victim. <laughs> Clown is one of the killers has the uh Highest tier of lunge. So that was a nice ad. I am using Stoppy Butcher. Help them uh, slow down the game a bit. So it's nice quick when they're healing. So I have a little more time to chase around. Clown Phobia. And that's just for healing. Let's go again. Uh, clown Perk. Uh, three of them more. Actually, no, two of them. And Strider to help me find the killer or find the survivors. So I kind of. Get an idea where they're at and hiding. In this instance, it actually helped me out a lot since we're playing at Ryan Fields and I really was going to need some more help finding survivors rather than just see marks themselves. So, that's why you probably are hearing the audio of them breathing, screaming, uh, in pain, and the crunching a lot. chase with Meg wasn't so long that it lost me a lot of time so I wasn't a bad bad time that I lost still only down to 5 gen and it's been about 2 minutes main thing with the clown you have to be very consistent these bottles are only open with distortion and uh, make them more it's like a scare tactic Kind of like a doctor in a way. So I use it as a way to shift where they're going. So if they're going left, I will throw my body specifically left, strong left, where they would have to evade it and go right instead. I like them to switch uh, where they're going into favor into my direction. And because of Strider, I was actually able to find David. Goes a weasel, comes right in handy. These wild goose chases in this cornfield are really was throwing me off. I did feel like if he mostly stayed into the fields, I feel like it'd been a lost cause for the most part. Out of all the survivors, of course, this one was giving me a, a rough time. Well done. Not sure how that connected fully with her, but uh, I guess it just kind of gave me in my favor of the lunch rather than the pallet drop. I misclicked, maybe. I 
I want to say we're around four minutes. Only five left. Five gens. So, game's looking out in my favor. Even now. Again, consistency with the clown is perfect. Just as long as you're not doing the gens. Healing. Um, messing them up with clownophobia. Stop the butcher. Slow down everything. If I could keep them in the chase, it's perfect. Good find and a good read on David. I've kind of played Survivor quite a while, more than Killer, so I usually get a good sense of uh, what people would choose to do in that instance. I had a feeling that David would try to trick me out, so it worked very well. After knowing I got Meg off to Chen and off to a safe distance where it would take her quite a while to reach to another one, I figured I would go ahead and take down this character. This this person is which I feel like the most um, better nemesis of the match of mine. Now that I know that, just one more hook on that person, and they'll be out the game. And here I notice that I could probably just protect the ones all the way back with the gen, the two over here. So, I mean, there's no sense of protecting all of them. It's just gonna really tear me down and kill me. So, I decided to protect the two that I'm going ahead and right now. Of course, realizing that down this person one more time, we've been a kill. So, there's her. Same time, looks like I actually found David. Ah, bad lunch. Gotta get it to him. Well, I got the down, so I guess it's all that matters in this case. The map to speak though, with clown phobia, it really does. It, it, it's not as effective. At that point, that's what I was thinking about. That really, I only really perks up really going with this pop because of these little sloppy butcher and strider. I don't know what happened here. I was expecting a dead hard, but. I 
he, I think it was, I believe it was, um, Kate. That scene run. Someone's around. And there's David. Really unfortunate. I feel like if he would hit better, I probably would have seen him. <laughs> That's the first mistake. It's dead hard. I just straight on no head. Spontaneous style, it kind of throws off the killer a lot. I don't know where this person's at. though with the mist and the tall grass was able to find them yeah, that's not like this one's working though and there's hatch Forget we saw that. <laughs> that's so terrible. Ah. I'm not gonna respect the pallet. Dead hearted toward the window. Hmm. I think I wouldn't have gotten him if he dead hearted through the pallet. To the window it had a small stoppage. It seemed like the, he hit the wall with the dead hard and didn't try to vault. It, it did the fast vault, but probably would have been better if he uh, vaulted to the pallet. I did want to become really camperish, but I uh, figured that wouldn't be fun. I think we all knew that survivor was getting in them, but just gotta pretend and uh, gotta do what you have to do. Get the chins while they save them. I feel like I could have hit Kate right there, but I I really didn't want to tunnel. So I decided to pick Meg. Probably made it a basement. But I've been very close, so.
I was making my spicy pink hot sauce to uh, make the like, survivor scream, so. Family recipe. No signs, no signs, and marks. And blood. I heard somebody. Not a bad chase. Kinda. Actually, very fortunate to not only get this map on fields, and that wasn't the best map, but worked out. But to also have both the exit gates in line of sight is a match made in heaven. Of course, I eventually do get the last survivor here. It was actually really fun. It was kind of tense because I knew uh, I seen I looked up the guy streaming and because uh, he had his name to Twitch to, to whatever his name was and I looked it up and seen him. I got a message saying "Tickety's on me." <laughs> of course, I would need it, especially with the skill of the map. It was just a uh, but gladly I had some. Fortune and luck. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just want to see that instant kill. And having the unfortunate of having this map and this killer and the perks of have kind of working with me and uh, dealing with a, a sweat team, if you want to say, some hardcore streamers, I don't know, but uh, regardless, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and um, don't forget to like, subscribe if you want to, whatever, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.